So today we're going to talk about different setups for your battery system. So can you cross, you know, use the RV batteries with a new RV battery? Can you run series, parallel? So how can you set these batteries up and what's the safe way to do it? So let's get started. So first we're going to talk about, can you run a used battery with a new battery? And the answer is yes, with certain rules. So let's say you have a 100 amp hour battery in your RV, the LifePo 4, and you want to add another LifePo 4 battery. And your original one is, you know, four or five years old. Can I add another brand new LifePo battery to that? And the answer is yes, as long as the BMSs are similar. So say, for example, this one has a 100 amp BMS, this one has a 100 amp BMS then chances are, yes, it's fine. You're gonna, out of your old one, because it's degraded some in time, you're probably gonna have maybe uh, 85, 90% of battery capacity. So instead of 100 amp hour, you're gonna have 85 to 90 amp hours. Your new battery is gonna have 100 amp hours of capacity. When you put these together, as long as they're in parallel, then it's fine. If they're in parallel, your batteries will charge and discharge uh, equally through the system. It'll, you know, the smaller one will, you know, see how much use it needs and it'll actually balance itself out. Now, I do say once a year, you know, regardless of any of this, you still need to uh, charge these batteries, you know, independently and just do a full charge on them. That way they have a full charge and they're both topped off. But as for running two batteries, you know, with uh, almost similar uh, amp hours, it's fine. And I've actually done this on mine for a test for everybody. I have a 310 amp hour battery and I have a 280 amp hour battery. Both of them are new, but because they're a different uh, variation in size, I'm running them in parallel in the battery tray and they're just fine. They, they balance themselves out. They, they work together perfectly fine. Um, I've been testing them for, you know, a couple months now. They they just work. So the way you cannot do it and absolutely no way to do it this way, that it's series. You cannot have different amp hour batteries running in series. It's just very dangerous. You just don't do it. And in in my opinion, it's it's almost dangerous to run you know, any variants of, uh, even if they're the same app hour in series, because you got so many, you know, unmatched variables for running these things in series. So series is a little, you know, iffy in my opinion, but uh, when you're running parallel, it's not an issue at all. You know, two different battery sizes. There was even this guy out there on YouTube that ran a 100 amp hour battery with a 400 amp hour battery and a 50 amp hour battery. So he ran these three batteries all parallel together. And again, you know, like 99% of it was fine. You know, the under discharge uh, meters were kicking off on certain things and the over discharge uh, were kicking off, but that's what they're supposed to do. But they were just fine. They, they worked together and um, uh, it was fine. So I think that if you're closer in range, it's even better. So if you have a battery that's, you know, used has 85 amp hours and you're putting a 100 amp hour battery, as long as you're running it in parallel, you're totally fine. It's gonna charge together great. It's gonna uh, use the power great. Again, don't do it in series. Series has its own uh, bunch of rules. So that's it for this episode. And you know, you like what we're doing, please subscribe because you all make it happen.